Disney is pulling all of its movies off Netflix to start its own streaming service. And job openings in the U.S. hit a record high. Jane King's live in NASDAQ with those stories and more. Let's start with jobs here. Uh, good morning to you, Scott and Lauren. Yes, well, there have never been this many job openings in America. The Labor Department says there were 6.2 million job openings in June. Now, on the downside, employers increasingly say they cannot find skilled and available workers to fill all of those open positions. Well, back to school is underway and families preparing for a flurry of spending. Capital One says more than a third of families will spend over $1,000 per child on school and after school fees this academic year. School photos, meal programs, mandatory school fees. Those were the biggest expenses for parents. Other expenses included yearbooks, school uniforms, and fees for field trips. And SeaWorld's attendance continues to drop. The company says visitors are still staying away. There's a possibility its credit could be downgraded, so that would make it even harder for the theme park as it raises the cost of borrowing money that it needs to turn things around. And Disney pulling all of its shows and movies from Netflix in 2019. Instead, it will launch its own streaming service. Disney said it will launch an ESP ESPN branded streaming service next year and then we'll launch another streaming service where viewers can watch new live action and animated movies from Disney and Pixar including Toy Story 4, the Frozen sequel and the Lion King live action movie. It will also have shows from the Disney Channel, Disney Junior and Disney XD. Well the Dow just did something it hasn't done in 58 years. Now it did close lower on the day but it was higher for a time so that made it 10 days in a row where it traded higher. It also did that in February and the last Last time that happened twice in the same year was 1959. Now stocks did turn lower though yesterday on tough talk regarding North Korea. And in fact, uh, that is in the markets globally. This morning we're looking at a lower start as those tensions escalate. Live from the Nasdaq market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King. Back to you. Jane, I know you're the boss at your company, but at our company we're forced to change our passwords all the time. And there are a lot of uh, requirements that go along with it. Let's talk about the guy who who created that requirement for passwords <laughs> and the crazy passwords what specifically. What was he thinking? I mean, we've all been forced to do this. You know, create a password with at least so many characters, so many numbers. you got to have a few uppercase letters in there. Well, the guy who invented these standards nearly 15 years ago admits they're basically useless. He says uh, nobody can remember them. They're nope. too complicated. And he says he's sorry. He says he's sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to thank whoever invented the link that says forgot my password because that's yeah. the one. Exactly. That's the saver right there. <laughs> I've used that so many times. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for the fingerprint one. I won't forget my fingerprint. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that would be a little yeah. easier. <laughs> thank you.